Mr. Transformers 96 here with another video. I'm going to be talking about some newly shown Marvel Legends figures, and this time it is the kind of four new Marvel Legends figures shown at the new con uh, Canadian convention at the moment. Uh, so this is quite exciting. These figures, you know, a lot of them are X-Men related, and uh, there's some interesting ones here, so I definitely wanted to talk about them. Uh, first off, we have Weapon X, which I think looks really nice. Like, this is a really good-looking figure. I'm liking it quite a bit. Uh, they've been doing a lot of Wolverine figures, of course, and a lot of them are just kind of same-same. This one, though, is very unique. It's very different, which I love. First of all, the head sculpt I think looks great. I'm really loving the headpiece that's on him. I like the very dark gray that they've chosen to go with, with like a black wash to it. It looks very realistic, very comic realistic at least, and I think it looks really cool. You can obviously see his face underneath it. I would have kind of preferred him to have more of a screaming or angry teeth. I, wa I want to see some teeth in that facial expression, to be quite honest. Uh, he's he's a little subdued here, um, but I do think that it does still look very nice. Uh, you can see the chest here. I think it's really well painted. I'm hoping in person it looks that well painted, because uh, that's some fine detail and I have a feeling in person it's going to be a little bit more like just the hair's going to be like larger and a little sloppier um, but at least from this image I think it looks really nice and I like the straps they look good the tubes obviously connect from his, his arms and the head down to the the pieces on his belt which I think look very neat and obviously he has his um his claws extended. As you can see, he just has bare feet, and he has more hair on the side of his legs, which I think looks really good. I'm hoping that detail really is that good in person. And the belt pieces look very nice. The colors that they've chosen to go with, particularly in the green and yellow of the um, the kind of lenses of those electronic pieces, look really good. They almost look like they're lit up, actually. Uh, but overall, I think this looks like a tremendous figure. A nice amount of it is uh, new new pieces, which I think is very cool, and it looks very well painted, so as long as the uh, final product looks this good in person, I would definitely uh, be very interested. I'd, I'm definitely going to pick this one up. I think it looks really nice, and it's a nice, uh, you know, uh it's a nice version of Wolverine. I'm, I'm unsure how many or how these figures are going to be released because one of the figures I did see was going to be a Walmart ex or Walgreens exclusive, but I really haven't seen anything else about that. I'm uncertain if this will be an exclusive to a store or if this will be in a regular wave. Then we have uh, the build a figure being Wendingo, uh, Wendingo, something like that. Um, I don't, I don't know much about him. You know, of course I know him just based on looks, but uh, personally, character-wise, I don't know a ton about him. Personally, this is really uninteresting for me. I just, I'm not a big fan of him. I never have been. Uh, I, I don't even think he has that cool of a look, and the the figure looks rather lazy to me, considering it seems to reuse a fair amount from Sasquatch. Now, Sasquatch was a build a figure that I really disliked, and I didn't even build him. Um, so, like, I, I don't have the pieces with me, but from what I can tell, it does look like a lot of it is reused from Sasquatch, so correct me if I'm wrong, but the arms, I believe, are reused, uh, the hands look new, the head's obviously new, um, and the feet... I believe the feet are new because I don't think Sasquatch had the nails like that, but the legs look the same. The tail is obviously new, um, and then this is, of course, unpainted. I mean, size-wise, it looks like a nice bulky build of figure, but it's just, it's not a character that I particularly like, and it's not a sculpt that I think is mind-blowing or anything. So, personally, I'm not a fan of this. Um, I would build him if I plan on getting most of the figures in his wave already, uh, but if it's more of like a struggle where I don't really care for too many of the figures and... Uh, uh, you know, I'd just be buying them to complete the Build-A-Figure, then I probably would just skip the wave, kind of similar to what I did with uh, Sasquatch. I really only got one of the figures from the Sasquatch wave. Then next was Mystique. This is a character that I've been wanting them to do for the longest time, so I'm very happy that they are doing her. And the figure looks okay. The head sculpt's nice. I like the fact that her mouth is open a little bit. It's lacking uh, much expression, though. And I think her hair is a little plain. To be honest, like the, the figure looks perfectly good. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. But I feel like they could have done more uh, to make it special because the character is, is so big. You know, she, she's really a, a fan favorite, um, and rightfully so. So I would have liked the figure to be a little more extreme. Uh, you know, like an interchangeable arm with her like just half transforming I think would be super fun I think an extra head with her like really angry or angrily or sorry with an anger expression and like the hair flowing and then one head where she's smiling and it's more of a normal hair uh, you know just falling down I think that would have been really cool but unfortunately they've gone with something a little more neutral and the figure itself is just mainly repainted uh, obviously the little skirt section is new and I do like the skull belt I think that looks nice but the rest of the figures your standard woman body sculpt and then her head is kind of plain and then the gun that she comes with isn't even new it's 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 one that came it comes with a lot of figures particularly when they started revitalizing the series 
Uh, but it also came with the previous Mystique figure, which came out in like 2013, I want to say. She came out in that awkward wave where they weren't doing Build-A-Figures anymore. Um, I do have that Mystique, but it's a much more modern version of her. This is a nice classic costume, so I'm, I'm very happy with the costume that they chose to go with. And uh, the colors, it's a nice like kind of pearlescent white, and then the blue is just kind of plain. Overall, like there's nothing wrong with this figure. I can't say that they did it badly, um, but I know they could have done it better. That's for sure. They could have done it a lot uh, better and a lot more interesting because uh, she's such a good character and, and the figure's so plain, to be honest. Um, one issue that I have, though, is that her head looks a little large, in, particularly in this photo, so I'm hoping that in person it won't look uh, off, but it does look a little larger than her body, at least here. Here's just a nice kind of group view of them. And then you have Guardian uh, sporting very Canadian style colors, which of course I think fits the convention. Uh, but overall, nothing special here. I've never been a fan of him. Um, I like the color, like, I like the, the tones of the color that they chose to go with. It's a very nice shiny pearlescent white with a very metallic uh, red, which I think looks really cool, but it's a very plain body sculpt. It's a plain head sculpt, and then the detail on the suit is purely painted, none of it's sculpted, so it, it looks like a very boring figure to me. So overall, out of this assortment, just for me personally, the build a figure I'm not very interested in. A Guardian, I, I find, like, I like the colors, but I find the design very plain. The Mystique figure is a fantastic character, and I'm very excited that they're making Mystique, but I think they could have done it a lot better. And then the uh, Weapon X figure I think is fantastic. I think it looks great. It's a you know really cool character, at least version of the character, and I think that they've executed it perfectly. So, overall, you have a really range of feelings on these four figures, for me personally. Um, but again, I'm unsure about how they're going to be released. Obviously, when they go, it's going to be a Build-A-Figure. Um, uh, uh, Mystique is the one that I heard was going to be a Walgreens exclusive, but I'm unsure if that's going to be the case. And as far as Guardian and Weapon X, I'm not sure if they're going to be exclusives or if they are going to be a part of a series. But there you go, that's my thoughts on these four figures. Uh, you know, again, Weapon X looks awesome, Mystique is a great character, plain figure, Guardian is a very plain figure, and then the Builder figure. It's nothing too special uh, character-wise for me personally, and figure-wise I think a fair amount of it's reused, which makes it a little boring as well. So there you guys, that's my thoughts on these new Marvel Legends that have been shown. Let me know what you guys think of this assortment, and thanks so much for watching.